This little guy was living the most luxurious life a rat could ever imagine. But one unlucky night, he accidentally gets flushed away to the underworld. Roddy is born with a silver spoon and gets to be a pet rat to his lovely owner Tabitha. The little girl is going out for a family vacation, but she leaves enough food for Roddy, which he can eat for a whole month. Moreover, he is also gifted with all the luxuries a rat can never have on the streets. Roddy lives in a golden cage decorated with several objects. As soon as the house owner leaves, Roddy also gets ready to spend his own vacation. He gets out and chooses clothes from Tabitha's dollhouse. Roddy considers all of the dolls as his friends. He hangs out with them, plays golf, visits the artificial beach, and even watches a movie with the most beautiful doll he has. However, he still feels sad deep in his heart. He hasn't met another rat for a long time. Roddy feels depressed and can't fall asleep. Suddenly, he hears mysterious sounds outside his room. Roddy gets scared and grabs a toy soldier to protect himself. Roddy follows the sound and reaches the kitchen. Someone splashes out of the sink and falls on the cereal box. It first seems like a monster, but then it turns out to be another rat named Sid. He used to live in the sewer and accidentally got flushed here through the pipes. Sid gets delighted to see so much food and luxuries. He rushes to turn on the television and watch the FIFA World Cup Finals. Sid has decided to spend the rest of his life in this house, but Roddy doesn't like that. He's not willing to share his facilities with a filthy rat. Roddy tries to trick Sid and offers to send him to an even better place. He lies that if Sid jumps in the toilet, it will lead him to the other places. Sid is not that dumb, and he pushes Roddy in the toilet instead and flushes him away. Roddy ends up in the underground sewage lines and prays this all to be a dream. He gathers himself and looks around to find a way back home. However, he finds a whole rat city instead. Roddy tries to ask the locals a way back home, but none of them are helpful at all. He ends up upsetting some rats and they hand him over to the police. Roddy begs the police officer to guide him back to his home, but the police officer doesn't know much either. However, he can suggest a person. It's the owner of a boat named the Jammy Dodger. On reaching the boat, Roddy finds a female rat named Rita. Before he can share his story, Rita tells him to stay quiet because her enemies are coming who want to take her life. Roddy accidentally pulls a lever that activates the horn and attracts the enemies. They two creepy rats named Whitey and Spike. Rita tries to run away, but Whitey grabs her immediately along with Roddy. They are after a precious ruby that is apparently stolen by Rita. Roddy asks Rita to tell them he is not involved in this matter, but Rita accuses him of being an international jewelry thief. Roddy gets angry at the betrayal and reveals that Rita is hiding ruby in her pants. After getting the ruby, the rats take Roddy and Ruby to their boss, Toad. Roddy also tells him about his origins and requests him to help find a way back to Top. On hearing that Roddy came from the human world, Toad shows him his collection of objects that belong to the royal family. He has been collecting them for a long time, and the ruby is also a major part of the collection as it fell from the royal crown. Roddy is clumsy as always and accidentally causes the destruction of the whole collection. Toad's blood boils in anger and he orders to give the cruelest punishment to them. Toad has frozen all of his previous enemies and he keeps them in a refrigerator. He plans to do the same with Rita and Roddy, but Rita uses a paperclip to open the handcuffs and escapes. She pulls out the mother cable that causes a blackout in the building. Rita uses the same cable to hang down on a wire. Roddy also grabs her and accidentally removes her belt so she uses the mother cable as a belt instead. She jumps down and gets back in the city but Roddy experiences a rough landing and loses track of Rita. Whitey and Spike are still after them too. In chaos, the ruby ends up in Roddy's hand and Rita begs for it. Roddy notices that the ruby is fake and he proves it by smashing it on a stone. Rita gets angry and walks away. Roddy apologizes, but Rita is still sad over the fact that she and his father risked their lives for the ruby, but it turns out to be fake. Roddy tells her, in the house he lives has a lot of jewels and Rita can have any of them if she helps Roddy. Rita agrees and they continue their journey. Meanwhile, Toad is secretly hiding his babies and a secret plan. He orders Whitey and Spike to bring the mother cable back from Rita so the electricity can be restored. His secret will be incomplete without it, but he tells his men that he wants electricity just to watch FIFA World Cup Finals. Rita needs to stop at her house to get a map to Kensington from where Roddy came from. She tells Roddy to wait outside as she lives in a tilting house with numerous siblings. Rats reproduce really fast for sure. Her mother welcomes her warmly while his father is wrapped in bandages because of the injuries he got in order to steal the ruby. Rita's family mistakes Roddy as her boyfriend and brings him inside. Rita goes to the kitchen for a private talk with her father and tells him the truth about Roddy. Her brother interrupts the conversation and accuses Roddy of being a wanted criminal who can be given to the police to earn a reward. However, Rita doesn't want to break her promise and will help Roddy get back home. 
Roddy hears half of the conversation and assumes that Rita is selling him away. Heartbroken, Roddy escapes in the boat, and Rita assumes that Roddy deceived her and stole her boat. Just after covering a few miles, the boat shuts down and Roddy doesn't have an idea how to fix it. Rita reaches there and calls him a thief and Roddy calls her a liar. They finally reveal their side of the story and clear the misunderstanding, but Rita doesn't let him get on the boat and he has to travel on a rubber duck. Instead of getting angry, Roddy starts singing a song that touches Rita's heart and she lets him get back on the boat. He offers to EP in any way he can so Rita gives him the tasks to remove pests from the boat. While doing that, Roddy notices something mysterious coming their way. Whitey and Spike have reached to catch them. They follow Rita's boat all around the city and disturb the public. They even ruin a rat wedding. Roddy plans the next step and tells Rita to drive through the tunnel. He blocks the entrance with a balloon but Spike pierces through it. He then ties himself with a spring and jumps on Rita's boat. He is widely fighting with Roddy but his spring pulls him back and he damages his own boat. The enemies sink in water while Roddy and Rita get away safely. After spending so much time together, a romance starts to blossom between them. Whitey and Spike return to their boss and get scolded. Toad can't take it anymore and decides to hand over the task to a specialist. He calls his cousin LaFrog and orders him to bring back the mother cable. Toad wants to execute his secret plan as soon as possible and takes his revenge from the rats. There was a time when toads were considered the most favorite pet. Even the royal prince had Toad as his pet. He loved him dearly until the unfortunate day. A rat arrived and the prince loved him more. He totally ignored Toad who eventually got flushed away to the sewer. LaFrog understands his cousin's grief and promises to fulfill the mission successfully. He calls his professional team and initiates the task. Unaware of what's coming their way, Rita and Roddy are enjoying their dinner. Rita asks Roddy about his life up there and if he has the company of anyone. Roddy lies that he has a big family and lots of friends. He really enjoys his life and wants to live like that forever. The next morning, LaFrog and his team attack Rita's boat. They dial a call to Toad who asks Rita for the mother cable. Rita gets suspicious why the cable matters so much. Toad finally reveals that he will destroy all the rats and he needs the mother cable for that. Rita refuses to give it and starts a fight. Roddy distracts the frogs with a fly and their tongues get tangled together. Rita pushes them out of the boat but LaFrog is still there. The flow of water is getting harsh as they are reaching a waterfall. Roddy fails to change the direction of the boat and they hang down above the dangerous fall. LaFrog tries to push them down but Roddy and Rita grab a plastic bag that acts as a parachute. Rita's beloved boat is destroyed but she flies away to the top along with Roddy. They finally reach Roddy's home. He fulfills his promises and gives Rita the jewels he mentioned. Rita insists on having a tour of his house so Roddy gives her a ride around. Rita notices the cage and asks Roddy what it is. Roddy lies again that it's just for his security. Sid reaches there and Roddy introduces him as his brother but Sid reveals the truth that Roddy only has dolls as friends. Roddy is still not ready to accept his loneliness and says that he doesn't need any friends or family when he has all the luxuries. Rita gets satisfied with the explanation. She respects Roddy's decision and leaves. Roddy has gotten back all he wanted but he's still not happy. He sits down with Sid and starts drinking. Sid advises him to calm down so he can hold himself till the half game so he doesn't miss the game by going to the toilet. This helps Roddy understand Toad's plan. He is waiting for the half game when all the rats will go to the toilet. He will flush away the whole city at once. Roddy must return to save Rita and others. He tells Sid to be a good pet to Tabitha in his place. Afterward, he gets intentionally flushed away to the sewer again. He uses a balloon to fly to Rita and he rescues her. Toad bursts the balloon and both rats land in front of him. Toad plans to populate the city with toads after all the rats are flushed away. Roddy can never let that happen. He destroys the nitrogen gas pipes and uses it to freeze the frogs. Toad still hasn't given up and tries to run away. Roddy realizes that a huge wave of flushed water is coming their way so he starts stepping back. But Rita is captured by Toad. Roddy causes Toad's tongue to get stuck in the gears. Afterwards, he uses LaFrog's tongue to land on a safer place. The city is saved thanks to Roddy and Rita. Roddy has no plans to go back to the top and offers Rita to help her in building a new and better boat. It has better gears and a lot of new features. Roddy may have saved the city from getting flushed away, but they have returned his favor by saving Roddy from loneliness. Even if it is made for gold, a cage remains a cage that steals one's freedom. Luxuries and money aren't enough to make us happy. We also need some caring friends and a lovely family.